Hello everyone, welcome to PI Consulting Pro. This is another episode and in this episode we are going to discuss some of the major updates from Microsoft Power BI that you should know. In this video I'm going to discuss about two major updates that is improved export to Excel experience and second one is enhanced data culture with connected Power Pivot tables in Excel for the web. So what are these? What should you know about them? All of this you will get in this video. So stay tuned with me till the end of this video. The very first we are going to talk about improved export to Excel experience. For many organizations, Excel is the de facto exploratory data tool and no matter how simple or advanced a BI report is, user want to export data to Excel for analysis that supports the decision making process. And that's why we are always looking for a solution in Excel which is also related to Power BI. It is no wonder that one of the top three voted features request from the Power BI Ideas community is improvement to the export to Excel experience. And recently Microsoft has announced the improvement to the export to Excel experience for Power BI table and matrix visuals. Now look at your screen. Here you will see that now whenever you would try to export in Excel, then you can also export all the same format and the layout that you have in your Power BI. That is a huge improvement which was not earlier. And also you would feel like you have much more improved performance in this case. The new enhanced export experience includes a new intuitive UI for the export data dialog and a new export option. Data with current layout which allows users to export data to Excel from a table or matrix visual while preserving the overall structure of the visual, number formatting and expand collapse selections. Microsoft also rolling out this feature for public preview but it would be rolled out in different stages but you can experience the same feature in upcoming weeks. The second one we are going to talk about here is the enhanced data culture with connected pivot tables in Excel for the web. Personally, I was waiting for this feature for a long time because I just wanted to connect my online Excel sheets directly to the Power BI datasets. I don't want to do them explicitly. Export to Excel is a great way to quickly work with Power BI data, but if you need to keep your data updated, then a connected experience is the best because it is easy to refresh your data without leaving Excel. In connected Excel experiences, your data is automatically refreshed again authoritative data systems and it is widely distributed through Power BI into Excel as datasets and organization data types. And some of the major benefits of this is like Microsoft information protection labels in Power BI applies to your data in Excel so that your data remains secure. Secondly, connected and refreshed. Quickly connect to Power BI data from Excel and easily refresh the data without leaving Excel ensuring your analysis stays up to date. And lastly, easy distribution. Easily share your data analysis with others while ensuring that can update the data from inside Excel when needed. Now, Microsoft has already done it and it's available, but for some of you it's gonna available in coming few weeks. But for that, you need to always log in with the same organizational account that you are using for the Power BI for your SharePoint. So let me show you quickly how to do that. So the very first you have to log in into your SharePoint, which is your organizational SharePoint site over there, click on new and here you can click on Excel workbook. As soon as you will get this new workbook over here, now you have the same experience while you are looking at it, but there is something inside it. What you can do, now you can go to the insert tab, click over there and go to pivot. Now you will see a drop down over there. But if you will log in with your personal email address, you won't see that. And here you will find from Power BI dataset. So if your account is the same for Power BI service and for the Excel that you're using over here, you will get this option. And now 
You can click on it. Once you will click, it would start loading your all the data sets that are available in Geo Power BI services and you can use it. So isn't it amazing? So whenever you would like to use, you can use this way. I hope guys you liked today's video. If you would like to know more news and updates on Power BI and more videos on Azure and Power BI and many other topics, please stay tuned with us and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the Power BI latest updates and videos.